To see the latest movies in Maryville, The Hangar is the place to be. But long ago, moviegoers didn't even have to leave their cars. The story of Maryville's drive-in theater is on this week's edition of Dominic's Fun Facts. Located at what is now a shopping center, the Starlight Dude Ranch Drive-In was known for showing westerns and Vincent Price features. Today you look at that area and see all this business, but that wasn't there uh, 30, 40 years ago. Mm -hmm. So uh, Harry Mutz worked at the Dude Ranch during its heyday. Everyone went to the Dude Ranch. It okay. was the summer place to go. It was a fun place to go. They had uh, single features on uh, Sunday and Monday. Uh, Tuesday and Wednesday were single features, Thursday and Friday were double features, and Saturday was always a triple feature. A tornado destroyed the screen in the 1960s, but it was later rebuilt in a larger size. For, for a while on the billboard outside, they had gone with the wind. <laughs> the screen to the Dude Ranch movie theater stood here at Maryville's J.C. Penney, but in the mid-70s, the theater was closed. However, down the road on Highway 71, a new drive-in opened up. Brian Wonder took it south of town when they sold this drive-in. He wanted to have a drive-in there, but we had a lot of trouble with that drive-in. It was hard to, we want the radio sound that wasn't perfected quite yet. So um, we had to put speakers there. Okay. And it was popular, but it never catched on like the Dude Ranch did then because it was so far people couldn't find it down there. The grass has grown tall, but a few things remain at the South Cinema site, a ticket booth, the giant screen, and a pile of old speakers that once hung on car windows. In the old days of the American drive-in, admission was determined by the number of people in the car. However, once admission was paid, it wasn't uncommon to see folks climbing out of the trunk. If you want to see other fun fact videos, feel free to go to our YouTube page. And if you see anything interesting or odd around Maryville or Northwest Missouri, send me an email. You never know if it could be a fun fact. That's going to do it for Dominic's Fun Facts this week. Until next time, take care.